Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. My name is Dr. Cameron Garber. We're here with Melody. She is one of our awesome therapists here at Body Smart. So one of the things we wanted to talk today about, our, our nugget of wisdom for today, is on some things you can do to keep the cold spots warm during winter training. So that's a big complaint we get is, you know, people being too cold in their specific areas that most of us have that are really cold. If this has been you, so if you struggle with cold weather training, go ahead and raise your hand and say, yeah, that's me by dropping cold in the comments down below. I, I just want to hear like, honestly, how many people struggle with this during the winter to get outside and actually train outside versus training in the treadmill? Um, do you struggle with cold weather training? Again, comment cold in the comments down below. I just want to hear kind of your experience. So come at, comment cold and kind of what you do to get through we winter weather training. Um, one of my favorite things is to use a running buff. Like, I think that's one of my favorites. Do, or a, do you or use a them? neck gaiter. Or a neck gaiter, yeah. Yeah, so I always use a neck gaiter and big gloves. Yeah, I, I, I love them. So you can use them in so many different ways. In the summer, you can kind of wad it up and put it and use it as like a um, like a sweat rag or whatever. You can. It's a great uh, snot rag. Yeah, winter. snot rag, things great like that. Drill. Yeah, well, so I like to use it. You can put it up over your head and around your face. Um, for COVID reasons too, but you can use it to keep your face. So the areas that get cold for me is like my nose and chin, kind of weird. My ears, not so Even much sometimes. Beard. Yeah, well, I guess I haven't done as much with the beard. I don't know. The beard is fairly new. Um, but so yeah, that helps keep my nose and face uh, warm in the early phases. Once I get going, then I'm fine. And so I can pull it down. Um, and so I use that a lot. I know my wife will pull it up and use it over her ears, kind of like a headband. So you can use it for all of those. You can pull it up so it's over your ears and your nose and face. Yeah, it's just really versatile. So I love using one of the running buffs. Um, if you're here in Utah, you can actually get one for free at Utah Running. Um, you can go in and get one with any purchase. So they're pretty cool. I think another thing that's nice about them, I run with... Um like Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. They keep your headphones in really well. Yeah, that's so. true. I, I like it for that as well. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so nice. what are some of the things you do? What are, I guess, what are your cold spots? Where do you feel it? So my cold spots, well, my, yeah, are my hands. Hmm. My hands get yeah. so cold. So I struggled to run in the winter until this year I finally discovered um, ski mins. <laughs> nice. I, I wear them even when it's like 45 degrees. I don't I don't know why my hands get so sinking cold. Okay. Like to the point where they're painful. Like they're the cold feeling goes away and it just hurts. Interesting. <laughs> so I okay. just have hated like no gloves have ever worked. So I got these giant ski mittens and I look hilarious like in my tank top and shorts and these giant gloves <laughs> and I can't do anything with my fingers. But anyways, no. it has Works. made all the difference for me. So, yeah. so yeah, I always have gloves and I always have a neck gaiter. So yeah. okay. it makes a big difference. And I know everyone's different. Everybody has different cold right. spots and hot spots. Like I know some people who will run like in a beanie and gloves and no shirt in the winter. Yeah. That, that's just what's comfortable for them. So yeah, kind of interesting. Everybody's got different preferences. So mm -hmm. things to think about are like trying up different socks. So maybe more of a wool sock in the winter or things like that, or um, socks that come up higher, almost like legging socks, right? Mm -hmm. um, or uh, layering is a really important one. I feel like layering is huge so that you yeah. can take on it. So I always overheat. And so I, I usually tend to go out on the cold side knowing that I'll warm up. But often I'll, I'll layer up and ditch a jacket at the entrance to a trailhead or something like that so I can pick it back up. Um, be careful which jacket you choose. You don't want it to be a nice one. Um, yeah, side note, if you see someone's jacket, don't just take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, running etiquette. Um, but uh, keeping warm can really help keep your motivation up. One of the biggest things with keeping warm, though, is not having to make those decisions in the morning when you first wake up. At oh dark 30, when you're having to decide whether or not you want to go out and run in the cold and you're making those decisions then, it's really, really hard to get the motivation up to go out and run in the cold. Whereas if you lay it out the night before and you say, oh, these are the gloves that are going to keep my hands warm. This is the buff that I'll use for my nose and face and ears. And this is the, you know whatever that I'm going to do, if I get that combo set up and set out, ready to go in the morning so that those decisions are already made, makes it much, much easier. That's a good call. Yeah. That's when a really good call. It's really unmotivating when you're like, oh, what am I going to have to do I to have keep to warm? You have to dig through the laundry and yeah. your stuff. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I always ask Alexa what the temperature is when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> and so it's always like, 
Mm, 38. I don't know. What's that going to take to stay warm enough? And then, like, by then, the battle is already being lost. So if I can make that decision in the evening beforehand, it makes it way easier to get up and out the door. Yeah. All right. That's There's your, your Wednesday wisdom tips for this Wednesday. Uh, join us again next week. Again, I would love to hear what you do to battle the cold. So drop cold and, and what you do to battle the cold in the comments down below. I'd love to, to interact with you on what you do. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time.